Does your Arma 3 Eden Editor missions folder look like this? With all your missions on various maps all mixed together in one folder? If so, I have a solution for you. Today I'm going to show you guys how to organize your missions based on the terrain. Let's go to the editor. We're going to go to Livonia. And then we're going to go to the map. Then we're going to go down to the radar station here. And we're going to set the editor on Enoch. And we're going to pick ourselves a grenadier. And this is going to be our mission. So what I'm going to show you guys first is the default way that missions are saved and what the folder looks like. We have our mission. We're going to go to save. We're going to save this mission as soldier. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the mission. And as you can see, this is normally what the mission folders section look like. So when you come to this page, you whether you save or whether you open mission, it's the same screen. And you have missions and MP missions. And under missions, which we're working with, you'll have all your missions listed and each one of them is going to be set on a different terrain. Now currently all the missions are set in alphabetical order as you can tell. So if we set them in alphabetical order, you're going to have anything with brackets, whatever at the top and then A through Z. And then if you go to the terrain, all the terrains are all mixed. And of course you got your dates based on when the missions were created or saved. If you change it to uh, alphabetical order for the trains then you got Altus at the top and so forth. I, I find this kind of I don't want to say disorganized but it adds to the amount of work in terms of trying to find a certain mission because if you saved your mission on let's say Altus obviously if you set the train to alphabetical order then you can find your Altus mission depending on how many missions you have on Altus you can find the Altus missions at the top. Now if you have any other missions on any other map, then you're going to have to go through the list and look for it. It costs you time to do that. We are now in the missions folder or Eden Editor. And I have only a handful of missions from all the missions that I've created over the years to show you. This layout or this setup, this is the default normal way when you save a mission, they get saved in one folder and the missions are normally in alphabetical order and each mission as you could see have an extension on them to the terrain that they're on so for example this mission right here is ai heli transport at stratus now, if you go further down we have another mission that's on altus we have another mission that's on statsau another mission that's on tanoa another mission that's on kundas you get the idea i'm gonna switch over how i have my missions set up and I'll show you how to how that looks. Here is my setup for the same mission folder. I removed all the missions that you've seen and replaced them with my setup. So basically, I have folders for every terrain that I have missions for. Each folder is a terrain. And if I open this folder up, I have all my missions that I created for this map. So you can see we have different different terrains and a lot of missions for that one missions for that so you guys get the idea so this is one way to organize your missions how does this look in the editor let's go take a look we're back in the editor Let's go to open scenario. As you can see, we have two folders, one's missions and one's MP missions. We're gonna be working out of the missions folder. Now, as you can see, I have all the folders that you've seen previously. So I have folders created for every map that I have missions for. So for example, since I'm not running any mods, only those missions for the vanilla maps are gonna show up. So for Altis, here are all my missions that I created for Altus and then we have let's see Livonia all the missions I created for Livonia and here's the current mission that we're on that we created 
And then we have Malden. And then we go down to Stratus. So you got all my missions for Stratus. And then we got Tanoa map. And then we have Virtual Reality. Now you can see a lot of other maps here, like Ardennes, that's a World War II, that's World War II, Beketov. So none of the missions are going to be showing for any of these maps because I don't have those mods loaded. Only those missions for the mods that you have loaded will show up. How do we create folders in the editor here for your missions? So what you're going to do to create a folder is you're just going to right click. You can literally just right click anywhere. I would recommend starting on the missions and you just right click and you create a new folder. So if you create a new folder, let's name this Livonia underscore two because I already have a folder for Livonia. So we'll just create that. When you create that, the folder is not going to show up until you actually have a mission for it. Here's what we'll do. We'll rename this mission to something else. We'll name it Soldier 2. In the save menu, you could see that Livonia 2 shows up here. So when you're saving a mission, you just basically click on the folder that you want to save your mission into. And we're going to have to rename this Soldier 2 and hit save. If you want to open the mission, hit open and you'll see that Livonia 2 now shows up and our mission that we just saved is in it. Now here's another tip. If you right click the map name itself, you have three options. You could delete the folder and if you do that, that'll delete all your missions in that folder. So I would be careful with that. You can rename the missions folder. So Livonia 2, that's the mission name or you could create a new folder. That pretty much concludes what I wanted to show you guys today. I hope you guys find this useful. I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.